We begin this next half hour by raising awareness about ovarian and breast cancers. For the last several years, this is personal, I've co-hosted the uh, Kickin' Cancer 5K in West Los Angeles. All of the money raised goes to the Lynn Cohen Foundation and thereby supports a local clinic that has saved thousands of lives in its more than 20 year history. The event though, like everything else, was canceled this year, but the effort to raise money and promote women's health is very much still in full force. Women who are fighting this battle are, are not stopping because of any other thing that's happening in the world. On the very same day, Amy Cohen Epstein lost her mother, Lynn Cohen, to ovarian cancer nearly 23 years ago. Amy and her siblings launched the Lynn Cohen Foundation, which has been saving lives ever since. We've seen over 10,000 women. We've caught about over 10,000 cancers. The foundation supports the Lynn Cohen and Georgia Cord Preventive Care Clinic at the USC Norris Comprehensive Cancer Center in Los Angeles. It serves women who are at high risk for ovarian and or breast cancers. Think of it as a one-stop shop for screening, genetic testing, and direct access to a breast or gynecological oncologist. Best of all, it's free for underserved and uninsured women. Cancer does not care how much money you have in your checking account. We're actually seeing it in real time, you know, women coming in with advanced cancers. Dr. Linda Roman is the co-director of the Lynn Cohen Clinic. She says the coronavirus has kept women from keeping up with their annual exams, and that's a deadly problem. So go get that mammogram. Make sure you have your annual with your gynecologist. Your pap smear if it's due. While breast cancer is more common and kills more women annually, ovarian cancer is far deadlier. In 2019, of the 22,000 women diagnosed with it, more than half died. Dr. Roman says that's because there's no early detection test. Unlike breast cancer, you know, ovarian cancer tends to be diagnosed at a later stage. In any other year, Amy and I would be on this stage in West Los Angeles, hosting the Lynn Cohen Foundation's biggest fundraiser, the Kick and Cancer 5K. This year would have been the 19th annual. Although COVID-19 stopped the event, it's not stopping Amy from honoring her late mother. My mom gave it to me for it to be my job to help as many women as I can. And even if I have to beg at people's feet to give me money to keep doing it, I will. <laughs> it's all for a wonderful cause. That event typically raises as much as a quarter million dollars. So fundraising is still underway. You can check it out online. The website is kickincancer.com, kickin without the G. You can also learn more about the Lynn Cohen Foundation. Now, Bob, I just wanted to make a personal plea here simply because I'm one of those uh, at risk, high risk women. I have two maternal aunts who are, thank goodness, breast cancer survivors. So I've been getting my mammograms for years now. I actually had mine last night after work. A lot of women are afraid to, to actually go and do it. It is so simple from start to finish, from the minute I parked yeah. my car to the minute I walked out, not kidding, 15 minutes. In the pandemic, and no and worries. Big... Go ahead. Yeah, no, and, as, and I was saying just with, with that foundation too, one of the biggest takeaways I heard from your story, and we have her on all the time, Amy, uh, in our studio, is that those services, the, much of it is free. So uh, it just provides such a wonderful service to people here in, in L.A. So if you can help out the foundation at all, that would be great. Yeah, th that is for sure the biggest takeaway, and I'm 